It's 2020. Um, 200 days. Six months. Half a year. Yeah, that's a lot. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing another life update. Um, I'm going to be talking about the ups and the downs and the middles of being an exchange student. Be a little from like my January and my start of February and how I'm feeling right now. And then I'll be going through the months to come as well um, with exciting events. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave the timestamps down below for um, all the topics I'm gonna be talking about so you can skip ahead um, if there's something you want to know or so you can get back to it later. And if you're new here, my name is Sophie, I'm 16 years old and I'm an exchange student from Denmark. Um, I'm living here in Utah for the year. I post videos here on YouTube to help um, the future exchange students, the current exchange students. Um, and also just to have something for me to look back on about my exchange year. So remember to go subscribe if you want to follow my journey. And let's get on with the video. We spent Christmas with my mom's side of the family. My husband's mom's side of the family. So we were with them um, Christmas Day Eve. I can't figure out what's what. The 24th and the 25th and the 26th, I think. We saw them like three days in a row. It was pretty funny. Um, so yeah, we just did different stuff together and it was just, it was really good. Um, I did not spend New Year's with my whole family. Um, I went to Park City, which you might have seen in some earlier videos or on my Instagram. Um, and if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go do so. Um, there was a link down below. I went to Park City um, and spent New Year's there with my friends of my Danish family. Yeah, um, and it was really, really good. Um, I got to ski, got to see them again. Um, it was really, really good. I think I got back first day because there was a snowstorm, so we had to postpone it a few days, but yeah. So I was back first day, I think, and then school started Monday, so it was pretty great. This year, January was pretty great, actually. I did feel great um, throughout January. A lot of good things happened. Um, had a lot of fun friends, but then February came around. Um, and February hasn't been as good, especially like a few, like this last week has been kind of weird. Um, cause it's been really up and down with like, no, I don't really want to do this anymore. Like now I miss my family a lot and I want to go home kind of. Um, but it's again, it's not really, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a feeling of like, it's been so long now that you're like okay now i just want to give my parents a hug again and i just want to go play a round of golf with my friends or i just want to spend a day with emily and eat all day or whatever it is we normally do um spend a day with my grandparents um you know it's just those things that you like can't do here that you're just gonna miss the past two days i would say have been a lot better um I've been in a really good mood, I've gotten a lot of sleep, which probably has something to do with it. Um, and yeah, it's just, overall, it's been pretty great these past few days. My breakdown was, I just checked because I forgot, <laughs> was the last week of February. Um, it was the night between Sunday and Monday. Um, and I just, I had been feeling weird and I could feel it like coming. Like, my feelings were just, ugh. You know that feeling where you're just like, I don't feel good? Like, you know you're not sick, but you just feel like crap. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that way. Yeah, so I went to bed, everything was fine. But then I started thinking and I could just feel my mood was just dropping and dropping and dropping. And eventually I started crying. Um, and then I just laid down here, cried and cried and cried for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. And then I went out to the bathroom, washed my face. I don't know why I thought that was going to help. And it didn't. Because um, the second I sat down in here again, I started crying again. So, yeah. Um, and, you know, it wasn't crying, like, you know, like mildly crying. It was like when I was crying, really, like, you can't breathe. This is like... <laughs> yeah, it was really, really bad. Um, I know that made it sound really silly, but it was really not fun. And eventually, I took my water bottle. <laughs> I took ear 
cutest teddy bear ever. He's huge. Yeah. <laughs> Took your um to my water bottle. And then I went upstairs and then I just sat on the couch hugging Eeyore, drinking some water, and crying like crazy. Um and it was like I think it was like eleven o'clock. I had heard like a little before that someone went to the bathroom upstairs. So I texted both of my parents, um both parents, um, asked them if they were awake and then my host dad responded. And I didn't wear my glasses because they were down here, so I didn't know what he said, but I just was like like somehow managed to write out, um, can you come out? Like, I need help. So yeah, he just came over and sat down and hugged me. Well, I was still crying like a baby. Um, and then my mom came too, and then they were like hugging me from both sides. So yeah, we just sat down there forever. And eventually one of them asked what was wrong. And I was just like, I don't know. And we just talked about it. And eventually I stopped crying. And we just talked about like what, that, what was going on that was bugging me. Um, so there was a bunch of homework stuff. We had just changed classes, um, which was still a bit stressful. I just got into yearbook and my role there wasn't really, nobody had told me exactly what my job was. Um, it was a bit blur blurry lines. So, so that made me a little stressed out. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't even remember but it was just a bunch of small things that went into it and then eventually i just couldn't take it anymore um and it was like yeah once we finally was like everybody was okay again oh well, i was okay again they were like okay so we you totally scared us <laughs> which i you know like they were like we thought somebody died and i was like yeah i died a little inside if that helps <laughs> Okay, joke aside. Um, I don't know why I'm joking about this. I shouldn't be joking about this. This is terrible. Yeah. Um, so that was not fun. You know, sometimes when you've just been holding something inside of you, you just need it out. So yeah, that was my getting it out. But, you know, like, I just cried and cried and cried and eventually I was good again. So, yeah. Crying and talking about it helped. Um, but yeah, because of that, it's made me better at now talking about it. So whenever there's something that's bugging me, I make sure to talk about it. If it's with my dad, my mom, my friends, my friends back home, my parents back home, anybody, just need to talk to somebody about it. Um, Cause if you take it, you know, like one thing at a time, instead of just taking everything at the last second, it's just, yeah. But yeah, um, it, it was good. It happened, it's over, I needed it. Great, let's not talk about that anymore. My mood is changing every single minute. Like, and yes, I'm still hugging New York because it's comfortable. My mood is changing a lot. Um, and I don't know, it's kind of weird. Cause like this past few weeks, it's been a lot like today. I'm like sick and tired of everything. I just want to go home, back to Denmark, have my, my own life back. Um. And then some days I'm like, I never want to leave here. I love it here. I do love it here. Um, and I'm like, I just, I never want to go back. I just want to stay here forever and ever. I'm sure if you're in a scene tune, you can relate to this, but it's just, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but it is kind of hard. Um, and I can also feel that if I've had a week where I haven't really talked to anyone, like Skype with someone um, from Denmark, my parents, they can be my friends, anybody. But if I've had a weekend where I haven't talked to anybody, um, then I know that the following week is gonna be bad, um, which I've seen now. Cause I can see, like I've started tracking my mood, um, which I'll show you later, but of course that's not the only reason, but the pattern is just like, if I haven't talked to anybody, usually my mood is bad. Um, so now I really try every weekend at least to talk to one person. Um, I really want to try to talk to everybody, but you know, it just doesn't work out all the time. But I think these past four days I've talked to someone every day. <laughs> yeah, we had a long weekend, so it was great. So yeah, we changed semesters in like mid-January, I think. So I've had these classes for about a month. So I've changed five classes. So yeah, that was quite a bit of change. Um, and also now on eight days I have second lunch. Um, before I had first lunch both days, um, which is really annoying because like second lunch is really late. 
Um, I'm always hungry, so for me, lasting till second lunch is like so hard. Um, I always eat like in between classes because if I don't, I just don't function. So, so I really do like my classes. Um, I will say though, math. I've been trying to get out of math because it's just. I don't like the class. Yeah, I try to get out of it. I can't, so now I'm gonna have to do it. And then there's the sports. I've actually liked not having to do a sport because I've had a lot of free time to do other things. Um, but I do miss the like moving. Like I have days and days now where I just do nothing. Where like the only movement I have is walking to the bus stop and it's just <laughs> I don't really like that. Um, that's gonna change because golf tryouts are on Monday. Monday 24th is tryouts and this video is going up the 26th, I think. I went golfing Tuesday. Um, yeah, in this indoor center, very, very close to here. Um, and it was really good. Um, my back hurt a lot yesterday because you know when you haven't played in forever and ever and then you just stand there doing the same thing over and over and over. Um, you can definitely feel it in your back, so that was kind of annoying, but it was really good. I still have skills, so <laughs> I do remember how. Um, I do need to work on it desperately, but so far so good. Um, and I booked another time for Saturday. Um, yeah, so I can go again before tryouts. And then I started something new with the new year. I still have your um, I actually started two new things with the New Year's. I gave myself a challenge to read all of the books of Cuban Velocities. Yeah, I am now on book number five. This is the fourth. I haven't gotten the five yet. Um, there's eight total. Like, I've never read just because I can. Um, <laughs> I've always, like, yeah, I've never really enjoyed it. So I was like, you know what? I like these books. Let's read all of them before I go home. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and it's going pretty well. I'm missing free books, so. And I started a bullet journal. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the tracking thing I talked about. This was from January. Yeah, so here I just track my mood and my, like how stressed I felt and something else and my quality of my sleep. And then it's just like random. Like, it looks pretty cool if I have to say myself. And then the other one is just like things I wanted to do. So I wanted to eat fruit. So I just had like, if I ate from fruit that day, I just colored it, you know? This was like right when I started. So I really put a lot in here, but then I just have to do lists. So I have like a square for each day. And then I just put in what I wanted to do that day. And then February, I was a bit more creative. So it's like a calendar. I don't really use this page, so I'm thinking I'm not gonna do it next time, but. Then I have, ooh, this, I made this for the first time, sleep one. So I just put a line for like when I went to bed and when I woke up and then eventually I'm gonna color it in. I think it's gonna look cool, I don't know. Um, and then I did a gratitude list instead of the thingy. And then just the to-do lists. And like these are a little more human, you know? Not that much to do. The front of the book is normal pages, so you can write on them. So I used that as like a diary, and then I just put in a star on the day and then the number of page I wrote on, so I can find it if I want. So yeah, I've been doing that, which is kind of fun. I'm getting sick again, so my throat is messed up. Um, I should have made a cup of tea. Okay, I'm gonna do this one, then I'm gonna go make tea for myself. On Saturday, it's a Danish holiday. It's called Fest Laun, and it's where people dress up, well, mostly kids. Um, we dress up and then we hit a barrel that in the old days had a cat in it. Now it's not a real cat anymore, now it's just candy, but yeah. Anyway, it's a fun thing and you have good cake. So I'm gonna try and make the cake, Fest Laun's bottle. I'm trying to make that. Um, on Saturday so we can eat that Sunday and I have no clue if it's gonna go well but you know I want to share some of my culture so I'm gonna give it a go at least if I fail I can say I tried you know yeah mission get go, go get tea take Eeyore with us 
kidding. I'm not gonna take Eeyore with me. I'm gonna dump Eeyore on the bed. And then I'm gonna go make tea. I don't remember how to do this, let's see. Also got to play a little piano. One of my friends once taught me how to play seven years, but I forgot. It. And do the do 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 do. That part I know. The rest I don't know. Yeah. So as I kind of said before, um, it's like missing Denmark. It's not like constant missing them, and like just want to go home. Okay, I have been, I want to go home, but I would never do it. But you still kind of have that feeling of like, I just kind of want to go home now. Um, but yeah, I miss the food still a lot. Um, and I miss my family, but I don't know. It just sounds mean, but it's not really the individual people I miss. I just miss like my family coming together and doing the things that my family usually does, you know? And like, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but yeah, I do miss them. Um, but the closer we get to me going home, the more I'm getting scared of missing Utah when I go home. Um, Cause you know, the thing is when I went here, I knew I was gonna be back in Denmark by a year at the latest. Um, I don't know for sure when I'm gonna be back here again. I don't. Nobody does. And it's terrifying. Yeah, so I think that was all of the like current stuff. So I think I'm gonna move on to think about March now. So March is in a week. No. Next Sunday is March 1st. So I know it's not March, but I have tryouts on Monday. The 24th, Wait, my computer's over there with the calendar. Um, yeah, so 24th is um, golf tryouts. Then I have, assuming I get into the golf, and then we're going to St. George in, which is Southern Utah, very Southern Utah. It's like six, five hours from here, I think. Um, we're gonna go down there for a training camp. March 12th through for. 14. Um, and that week, March 9th through 13, I am also doing my takeover on the EF Boston account on Instagram um, that those of us going to Boston have made. Um, so it's my turn to introduce myself. Um, and then I will be going to Boston on the 24th. 25th? Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I'm a little hyped about that. And then when I get home, I have spring break. Yeah, March is gonna be a lot of things to do. And then April, all of our golf tournaments starts in April. So we have a game, a tournament game, match, whatever we're gonna call it, every Tuesday and Thursday. But yeah, so that's gonna be all April. And then May, it's gonna be <laughs> weird. Cause my last full month in the States. Um, and it's gonna end with graduation, obviously. Graduation is the 29th of May. And then depending on a lot of things, um, I might be going home already on June the 3rd, which is very early. <laughs> um, but that's the thing I don't know yet because I've applied to become a summer ambassador. Um, so I will be one of those ambassadors at camp um, that will be there and greet um, class of 21 um, at the airport 
and answer all of the questions I camp um, and have a lot of fun. Um, so if I get into that, I will not leave Utah till July 17th and I will not be back in Denmark till August 9th. But if I don't get in, I will be going home either on June the 3rd or my parents will come and get me and we'll have a vacation here. And if that's the case, I don't know when I'm gonna be home. Right now, my summer is one big question mark, which is scary. Yeah, which was also a part of my breakdown, cause like, I don't know. It's not because I'm one of those like <laughs> planning freaks that needs to know every single thing that happens, but it's a two month difference. Like, I would like to know if I'm gonna be back in what, four months or in six months? You know, that's kind of nice to know, so. But yeah, we should be told if we're moving on to next round or what um, this week. So by the time this video goes up, I should, I hopefully I know if I'm moving on to the next round or if I'm not going. If we're being honest for a second, I don't know which one I'm hoping for more. Cause you know, if I don't get in, then I get to go home early and spend the summer in Denmark. And my parents most likely will come here and meet everybody. But, and my brother. Um, but if I do get in, then I get to spend the summer here with my American family. Um, get to experience 4th of July. Um, when you think it's really hot and we can go hiking a bunch and, you know, get to have a real American summer. Um, plus I'll get to be an ambassador, which is super awesome. Um, the only downside about it is just that it's gonna take so long before I get back to Denmark. And I will be back most likely on the 9th of August and my school in Denmark starts on the 10th. So I would have about 24 hours between landing and starting school. I really can't decide which one I want more. Um, now I'm just gonna wait and see what happens and take it from there. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, it was kind of a really honest one um, with a lot of ups and downs in it. Um, but again, that's just the life of an exchanger, you know? If you have any questions, let me know on my Instagrams or down below and I will be happy to help you. I will also have a link down below that you can go fill out if you're interested in an exchange here yourself. Um, just make sure that you fill out my full name in question number seven um, since it is a part of competition for me. Please remember to go subscribe down below and ring the bell if you haven't already so you get notified when I post new videos on Wednesdays. Um, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Still have you. I should always just like hook you on when I'm filming. He makes everything better. Mm-hmm. <laughs>